Hi everyone! This is Des from BitPost and for today's video, i-share ko sa inyo ang ating grocery setup. So di ba, usually maramihan bumili ang ating customers. So ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-add and minus quantity at ipapakita ko rin ang ating back office and item setup. Okay, so i-scan muna natin ng ating items. First, we have this one. have three methods kung paano mag-add and minus quantity. So for this example, kumwari, tatlo ang biniling alcohol ni customer. So for our first method, we can go ahead and click on add to add quantity. So ayan. And then we can click on subtract to minus quantity. Okay. And then for the second method naman is that we can use our keyboard. So let's go ahead and click on the plus sign to add quantity. And then the minus sign to subtract quantity. For our third method naman, let's say maramihan ang binila ni customer. We can go ahead and click on the item setup or shift and enter. So yan. But let's say sampo ang binila ni customer. So we edit na siya ng 10. And then click on OK. And then once everything is okay now, you can go ahead and tender or control and enter. So let's say 1,500 ang cash ni customer. And so lalabas then if you want to print the receipt. So yes, we want. So okay. And so nag print si receipt at lumabas si cash register. Next naman ay punta tayo sa ating back office. Okay, so dito sa ating back office ay makikita natin ang ating monthly sales per category, monthly sales, monthly purchases, monthly profit, and the top 5 items this month. But if you want a more detailed report, pwede nating makita yan. Just go ahead and click on reports. And then, hanapin natin ang POS Sales Detail Report. Dito, pwede rin natin i-edit ang start date and end date. And then, click natin ang Display POS Sales Detail Report. Yan. So, dito, may kita natin ng ating date, receipt, SO or sales order, item code, Description, Quantity, Discount, Sales, Cost, Profit, Payment, and Cashier ID. So, isa lang yan sa mga examples sa pwede natin gawin sa ating grocery setup. Again, this is Des from BitPost and I hope to see you next time. Bye!